getting back to your your question of like, I have a home lab, I have some disks. What do, like what do I do? Yeah, typically the the with the number of disks that you're talking about for that kind of scenario, it's like you know four to twelve kind of disks. Probably you're going to create one RAID Z group, and you're going to put all your disks in it, and it's going to be either RAID Z one or RAID Z two. So there's not a lot of real decisions there to make. Um, I think you're going to be running a command that's like zpool create, give the pool some name, RAID Z two, and then just list each of the six disks that you have. Mm-hmm. Whether it's RAID Z one or RAID Z two, this uh, it comes down to how much redundancy do you want? And and um, with uh, RAID Z one, you know it can tolerate one disk failing and not lose any data. If you lose that second disk before you've replaced the first one, then then you lose all the data. Um, with RAID Z two, you can lose two disks without doing any replacements and and you'll still have your data. 